drugstore coming through, I'm telling you. Hey? Choose your fighter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So if you are new, welcome. Glad to have you here. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video at the end, and also just give it a thumbs up. Leave your comment in the comment section down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, welcome back, boo. Glad to have you back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me again today. So in today's video, as you can see, I have my makeup done. So we're not doing makeup today. So I'll be talking you guys through my... I'll do fourth each. A, um, a high-end uh, nude lipsticks and drugstore drugstore slash affordable uh, nude lipsticks so it's basically a top eight i know random but oh wow there's no rule to this thing and these are your babies these are my babies so i'll start with um high-end nude lipsticks that i really like so let me just take this one off. I think I'm gonna need a mirror. And I'll be starting off with the high-end ones. And the first one that I have is by Stilla. Stilla you can get at Stilla Cosmetics, you can get at um get at any Woolworths store. I purchased mine at Crystal Mall. There's also um, you can also check out, I think Santin also has, I'm not sure about other malls. I do not remember the price for most of these lipsticks, you guys, so you'll have to forgive me. If I do remember some, I will let you guys know and where you can get it. So let's go ahead and put on Stella. This is, the name is Lido. Right, let's put that on. Look, I would an not wear nude lipstick any day, like any day. I'm that girl. This is, oh, this is a matte lipstick. So I'm going to mix between matte and lip gloss. My favorite ones. So let's let it dry up a little. Then I'll show you how it looks when it is all matte. It's nice, right? I like the fact that it doesn't, like it's not too dry when it goes matte. You know, when you get these matte lipsticks, like it's even so hard to take it off. You have to put maybe Vaseline or any like oily ointment so that it, it you can remove it. But with this one, it's really not so hard to, to remove it. And you know, when, when matte lipstick dries off, then you find this part off or comes off. Not with this one. Look at how lovely that color is, guys. I could wear nude the whole year. I'm fine. And I'm also just scared of, a bit scared of bright colors. But I will overcome that fear with. So let's take this one off and then I'll move over to the next one. Play with me. Okay, then the next one is Huda Beauty. And this is, the name is Spice Girl Liquid Matte Lipstick. Let me just show you how it looks. This is also like, it's waterproof like. You could always go in with a lip liner. A lip liner that matches your lipstick just to shape your lips nicely. But I don't want this to manipulate the color of the lips, of the lipstick. This one is very light. It feels very light on the on the lips, but when you're looking at it, it looks like coverage. But it's it's not thick like the like the consistency of. It's not as thick as the as the Stila. The Stila one is more thicker. This one is kind of light. With Huda Beauty, you can order the, order it online. They do deliver to South Africa. Also, you can check out Muse Muse.sa um, on Instagram. They also sell Huda Beauty products and 
and that's where you can get it from that's actually where i got my that's where i got my my huda beauty foundation so they have pretty nice products that are not accessible here in south africa i don't know when they're gonna start honestly i don't know when they're gonna start like we basically need a sephora in south africa and this is how the um huda beauty lipstick looks like you can go over with with um a lip liner if you want but we're not gonna do that today i'll maybe do it in some of the the lipsticks but for now i don't think there's a need so let's move over to the next one going in with is a dose of color dose of colors you can also purchase it on muse beauty muse.sa on instagram and the name of this one is played cool so i'm just showing you guys my favorite lipsticks they almost look similar but they're not really they're not the same but the colors are almost the same that's the whole point of me which This is also lightweight. Not as thick as the Lido, but I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm, I'm okay with that. And this is how it looks. They almost look the same, basically. Don't ask me why I buy almost the same nude lipsticks. Hi guys, nude lipsticks are the one. Are the one you can miss me with your bright colors. Do grand on this side. And that's dose of colors. How much it was. All right, let's move on to the next one. Why I like it? So I think that the reasoning is just the same, guys. It's honestly just the same. I like the color. I like the consistency. I like how long it stays on. You understand what I mean? And the fact that I don't have, I don't struggle that much to remove it compared to other uh, matte lipsticks. So, but today we're just dealing with nude. I'll move over to the next one, and I think that is my last. That'll be our last for the um, for the high end, and then I'll cross over to the drugstore or affordable ones. Last one for our high end uh, nude lipsticks that I like is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, and the name is Cool Brown Matte Lipstick. This is my go-to, always in my handbag. Like, it's just one of those you went done, you know? It's not overdry. It is just perfect and it glides so nicely on the skin. I mean, on the, on your lips. That's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons I like it. Look at that. My fave. A fave. A fave. I've already said why I like it. It's one of my favorites. This one and the Stiller one are my favorite ones. Like, they're always in my handbag. I never leave them behind. How lovely. Hmm? Which one do you like from the four that I just did now? Let me know in the comment section. Wow Matte Lipstick number 13. This one, the first time I did my video for Instagram, I think this was the first, uh, like the first tutorial I did for Instagram. I think this is the first lipstick that I used. And I love it. It also feels like the... Anastasia Beverly Hills one it just glides on your lips and it doesn't over dry them but it also it still looks what matte when you're looking at it it looks matte I just love the color this one I would um, normally just go in with your um, I'd normally go in with the what is it lip liner so let's just go in with a brown this is this a brown 
lip liner and this is by this is by NYX I don't want to put on a lot because it will then change the color of my lipstick well cosmetics I'd go to discam and that's where you can get it I love it it feels just smooth on, on your lips doesn't over dry your lips at all can't remember how much it was but it's definitely under a hundred rand it's definitely under a hundred rand so if I want to make my lipstick my lip gloss more matte I mean my 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 matte lipstick more matte I would just go in with powder or setting powder on them and instantly it will just go dry it doesn't change it doesn't change your lip color and this is your matte how gorgeous is this gorgeous see this one and the Anastasia yebo 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 okay, let me mix it up with lip gloss and this is by Hemosa. Hemosa Flow and it's natural. And I really love this. If you watched my last video, you would know why I like it. This one definitely takes the cup because you just put it on. You don't need to put lipstick under or lip liner. You just put it alone. What do you prefer between lip gloss and matte lipstick? I think with me, it just depends, honestly. It depends on how I'm feeling on that day. But most of the time, I go for um, a gloss. Because it's just easy to take or to put on. Um, I feel like with matte lipstick, you have to remove the whole thing and then put it on again. But with lip gloss, you just add on and you are good to go. You understand what I mean? Yeah, well, okay, so let's cross over to the next one. Now I'm gonna go in with your matte lipstick now. We're almost done. We're gonna wrap this up just now. All right, so we're about to wrap this up and the second last um, lip gloss or lipstick that I'm going in with is by NYX and it is Sleep Tees. Um, the name is Still Shady or Shady. I've used this one before if you watch my videos you would remember where I used it before I also like it it's also like the it's also like the the Hermosa flow one you don't need to put on anything under it just glides and it has color I always go for lipsticks that have color because I don't like the the color of my lips so I would want something that will just change the color of my lips. So hence I wouldn't go for a straight, straight colorless lip gloss. Heike, look at that. Almost looks similar, but I did say most nude, almost the same. They're almost the same. Look at that. Hey, love it. Love. Ah, drugstore coming through. I'm telling you. Hey, this one that I'm going to do now, I bought, I think two weeks back and I love it so much and I've used it on one of the videos that I did recently. I love it so much and I think I'm going to get more from that section or from that collection. And that is the L'Oreal Les Chocolats Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in number 862. And this is the one. This, darling. Love it. Let me show ya. Hey. Uh. Okay. I love this, you see, guys. I love the color. I really like this one, like a lot, 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 because it goes most, goes in with almost all the looks that I do, you know. But unfortunately, I can't use it all the time. My only problem with it, it just gets, it takes time to. To be mad or to dry out but it's not a train smash look it's not something you can complain about it's just so nice i got this at clicks also i got it at clicks i think it was 139 if i'm not mistaken 140 140 rands okay now it's going matte 
and i think i want more i really really want more hmm? look at that <laughs> girl i can see his been lying remember no we said no singing today and we are done okay, those are my top eight favorite nude lipsticks and lip glosses combined these are my these are my favorite my favorite nude lipsticks i really really love these these are my go-to if i were to put them all in my bag in my handbag i would but any that i pick i'm never disappointed so check them out tell me which one you liked on the comment section below you know and then maybe next time we'll do the bright ones your reds your orange let me know uh, give this video a thumbs up join me again next week let me know what you want to see so that we create you know what i mean thank you guys so much for joining my video i hope you liked it if you did you know what to do thank you so much please do take care you guys i'll see you on my next video bye choose your fighters